Rick Sanchez. You challenge Yugi to a duel, and he beat you. Expect no less from me, for I am a superior duelist. If he had dueled me without that f***ing puzzle, he would be in the Shadow Realm right now. Please! There's nothing more said than a sore loser making excuses. <laughs> Once I defeat you and get rock in my deck, I will be the one to take the title of King of Games from Yugi. Let's, Let's duel. duel! I summon Pickle Rick level 1 in attack mode. If you have monsters like that in your deck, it's no wonder Yugi beat you! You're already starting to piss me off. I set two cards face down and end my turn. I summon Z Metal Tank in attack mode! Next, I set two cards face down. Z Metal Tank, attack now! I activate my trap card in a pickle. When Pickle Rick is attacked, it lets me special summon Pickle Rick level three from my deck. What a waste! Your monster is a few attack points short. Metal Tank, destroy his monster! Seriously? You brought me here just to get f***ed up by that tank? Rick, I must say, so far, I am not impressed. I wanted you to destroy my monster, because now I can activate this. Pickle up. When Pickle Rick level 3 is destroyed, I can special summon Pickle Rick level 5. I'm gonna f*** you up, Kaiba. You were saying... Your stupid pickle got a makeover. So what? Make your move. I drove. Oh, yo, we'll get back to the video. But listen, I gotta introduce you to someone. Professor Death Knight from Raid Shadow Legends. Professor Death Knight here with a lesson about Live Arena, the new PvP mode where you can fight against other players in real time. <gasps> Sounds terrifying? Well, so's going to the dentist. You should still do it. Live Arena has a draft feature where you can pick and ban champions to fight for you. <laughs> Teamwork! When you win matches, you'll get Live Arena crests towards unlocking special area bonuses, or so I hear. I'm too afraid to try any of this out. Alright class, any questions? This sounds awesome. Listen, I'm gonna choose you as my champion in the arena. You're a scary looking dude. You're up for it, right? Do not pick me for Live Arena. Seriously. Don't, I'm too young to be bone meal. Come on, just imagine yourself as an arena champion. Think about all the hot elf women you'd get. All the riches, the accolades. Dream with me. What would be your opening theme song? It's gotta be upbeat, high tempo. Like a song that really pumps up the jam. Or one that gets you jiggy with it. Sorry, you know I'm like a thousand years old, right? My man, there he is. I knew you had it in you. Let's do this, Death Knight. You and me will conquer the Live Arena. I hope you use this knowledge you've gained here today about Live Arena to head off and do battle. Live! Make this whole Dead Bones Professor proud, folks. Class dismissed! Do we have a bell? Oh, we should totally get a bell. Raid Call of the Arbiter is now in full swing. To celebrate this epic limited series, Raid's adding some new characters from the series as champions you can play within the game. First one's Artak. He is a beast. To get him for free, all you have to do is log into Raid for 7 days between now and July 24th. If you haven't started playing Raid yet, use my link in the description or scan my QR code to get some insane bonuses like the epic champion Talia. Once you're in and crushing your enemies, come find me under the name Faber Soul. I'll see you on the battlefield. Pickle Rick, a taxi metal tank, pickle cyborg blast. Time for payback. You've triggered my trap card. Negate attack. My trap card stopped your attack. You're going to get what's coming to you, Kaiba. I set two cards face down and end my turn. I summon X Head Cannon in attack mode. When X Head Cannon and Z Metal Tank are on the field, they can combine to make a stronger monster. My monster is stronger than yours. Tank Cannon. Attack Pickle Rick. Pickle Rick level five has a special ability. Once per turn, by paying 800 life points, I can negate your attack. That pickle's days are numbered. 
I set one card face down and end my turn. My move. I summon the space cruiser in attack mode. My ship has a special ability. Arik monsters on my side of the field gain 500 attack points. Also, you can't attack the space cruiser if there is another Rick monster on the field. Pickle Rick destroy his XC tank cannon. Let's see you get out of this one. What the f is this? My monster has a special ability. My machine is made of two parts. You just destroyed one of them. Whatever, I end my turn. This card is the key to summoning Obelisk. I set one monster face down and switch my X head cannon into defense mode. I end my turn. I don't have a good feeling about his face down card. It could be the key to his next combo. It's time to bring out my god card. I summon Mr. Poopy Butthole. Hi, I'm Mr. Poopy Butthole. Seriously. Kaiba, you're nothing but a has-been who's living in the shadow of the Pharaoh. It's time I put you out of your misery. I activate the magic card Ancient Chant. This allows me to add the Winged Dragon of Ra from my deck to my hand. It also gives me one extra tribute summon. This is it. He's about to summon Ra. Now I sacrifice all three of my monsters to summon my god card. Mighty protector of the sun and sky, I beg of thee, please heed my cry. Transform thyself from orb of light and bring me victory in this fight. I beseech thee, grace our humble game, but first I shall call out thy name, Winged Dragon of Ra. You're f***ed now, Kaiba. Rock may be strong, but you're not the only one with an Egyptian god card. Ra, attack his face down card, place cannon. I activate my trap card. Shift. This redirects the attack to a head cannon. You're only delaying the inevitable. Your move, bitch. It's time for me to summon my god card. I flip summon Lord of Dragons. Next, I play the magic card, Flute of Summoning Dragons. This allows me to special summon two dragon-type monsters from my hand. I choose my blue eyes white dragon. The time has come. I think you know what's next. I sacrifice all three of my monsters so I can summon this. Come forth now, Obelisk the Tormentor. <laughs> My mighty Egyptian god is here at last. That card is going to look so good in my deck. Rick, you will soon realize that you made a mistake by challenging me. I will crush you with Obelisk. Your move, Rick. If he manages to get to monsters on his field, he can activate his god card's effect and destroy Ra. Then I'm fucked. I need to move to plan B. Ra, attack Obelisk. Our god cards are evenly matched. They will both get destroyed. Yeah, that's the whole fuck. Point. Raw. Blaze cannon. Obelisk. Fist of fury. You were so afraid of Obelisk's power that you decided to sacrifice your own god card. Towered. Listen, you may be rich, face, but you're nowhere near as smart as you think. I will not have my level of genius insulted by the likes of you. I'll admit, this hologram technology you invented for these dual discs is not bad, but I would have done it way better. Oh really? I beg to differ. You're nothing but a bitter and delusional drunk. <laughs> I activate card of sanctity. Now we both draw till we each hit six cards. I set one card face down and activate the magic card swords of revealing light. Now you cannot attack me for three turns. Your move. I summon Dictator of Dragons in attack mode. Now I activate my monster's special ability. By discarding one blue eyes from my hand, I can special summon blue eyes from the graveyard. This will come in handy. I set two cards face down and end my turn. It's time for me to finish this duel. I activate my trap card, Portal Return. This allows me to return one monster from either player's graveyard back to their hand. I choose Obelisk. Why is he returning Obelisk to my hand? 
What is he up to? Now I activate the magic card exchange. You know exactly how this works. So you plan to summon my god card? Actually, I don't. He has no monsters on the field. How is he going to summon Obelisk? <laughs> What's the matter, Kaiba? Are you perplexed by my strategy? The only thing that perplexes me is your bad beer breath. I know exactly what you're planning. Once again, you underestimate my superior dueling skills. I activate my face down card, Monster Reincarnation. By discarding one card, I can add one monster from my graveyard to my hand. I choose wrong. This doesn't make any sense. I activate the magic card, Plumba. This increases my life points by 1,000. You only know the three Egyptian gods. Little do you know, there were other Egyptian gods that existed, all born from the same life force. What are you talking about? You're a madman! I am about to summon an ancient and all-powerful creature that has not been seen for millennia. A monster that's more powerful than any single god card. If there was a monster more powerful than the god cards, I would know about it! It's time to turn this duel into a shadow game. What the f***? What's up with the Millennium Rod? It's acting up. Come on, work your piece of shit. Time has come. I activate my face down card to my infusion. What card is that? Magic and trap cards cannot be activated in response to this card's activation. By paying for a thousand life points, I can fuse the god cards together to form a new divine beast. No! <laughs> Great deity, I call upon me. I offer you my soul and life as a sacrifice. He might cry and grant me your power so I can bring upon my enemies their final hour. Come forth, the Moon Rock, the Weak Tormentor. <laughs> with me now, Kaipa. It can't be. Oh, but it is. The Moon Rock has a special ability. When he is summoned, all other cards on the field are destroyed. Sorry, Rick, but I will be the victor in this duel. I activate my trap card, Ring of Destruction on Dictator of Dragons. This wipes out the rest of your life points. <laughs> I don't think so. A Moonra has another special ability. Once per turn, I can negate the activation of a trap card and destroy it. You're still f No! This cannot be happening! A Moonra, destroy every other card on the field and attack him directly. Why didn't the Millennium Rock send him to the Shadow Realm? This isn't over! Oh well, I got what I came for. Now it's time to deal with the Pharaoh. Thanks to Ray for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to play for free using my QR code or link in the description.